Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we're going to have a look at the SQ13 Micro Action Cam. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today I want to have a quick look at this. This is the SQ13 Mini DV camera. Uh, for, I bought it to go on the top of a quad which has got Wi Fi video recording. It records sound pictures and it's got 155 degree 155 degrees wide angle lens and it records in 1920 by 1080 at 25 frames a second so in the box this is what you get i've already opened it so you get this little case which i presumes to go on the top of your dash it looks like a dash mount kind of thing so go on top of your dash you put some sticky pad on there and the camera goes in the case and then it's got this, which is another one that sticks down, and it's magnetic, it's actually very nice. And you could put that in your car, and then it comes with a USB cable. So, this is the unit itself, and it really is a nice little unit. It's made of, it's like an aluminium covered plastic unit. The back's made to look like it has got a screen, but it hasn't, it's just really shiny plastic. And then it's got your lens with the infrared lights around the side so you can have this on infrared so you can have this on wi-fi and you can connect it up to infrared if you want to use it in the dark so it's really simple to use so the sd card slots here goes in the side there i haven't actually got the sd card in it at the minute so it goes in the side there and then if you touch that press your power button that turns it on and then it's a single press to put it into Wi-Fi mode and then if it has a card and if you press it again it will go into video mode so just give me one second I'll just pause it and then I shall go connect it up to Wi-Fi and show you what it okay so now I've connected it to the app so there you go you can see what the app looks like so the app's called Sports DV that's the app you need to look for and you just connect it to it this could produce the Wi-Fi hotspot so this is the app so you can take a picture take a video so it's now recording video footage and it's doing it in 1080p 30 frames a second because this is the NTSC if you've got it in PAL it actually does 24 and then you can view your file to where it is but if I just stop the video And then I go back and I come out of the app altogether. You can go into your settings. Sorry about that. The app's just playing up a little bit, just one second. There you go, it's loading up your settings now. So here you can adjust your resolution, loop recording, timestamp. It does come with a timestamp as standard and various other settings. You can see there's a lot of settings to do on there. I'm not going to go through the whole app with you, but it is a useful app. So, I paid about 17.50 for this, I think I did it in the UK, I bought it off eBay. And I've also got a Firefly. I think this is better than the Firefly, in my opinion. This is my opinion. At the end of the video, you're going to see some video footage. The first bit of video footage you're going to see, the first minute or so, is when I'm holding this in my hand and walking around with it outside. The second bit of video is when it's attached to a Shuriken 180. Uh, and all I did was put a bit of double sided tape on the bottom of here and stuck it on the front of the shuriken and you can see what the image is like there is no jello whatsoever so I think for the money you can't really go wrong with this it does record sound that is an issue when you record the sound the sound file needs to be if you want to use it in editing you'd have to split the sound file out which is easy enough to do and match them up because they're out of sync the time is quite a bit out as well it's a good four or five seconds believe it or not I have no idea why, I've messed with it a little bit. I can't seem to see anything in the settings that stop that. But to me it doesn't really matter. The, the point is that the camera does what it's supposed to do. It's a nice little unit. It recharges in about 35-40 minutes and I've had about 10 flights with it and I haven't had to charge it up again. It weighs about 22-23 grams so you're going to have to put it on something a bit bigger. The Shuriken 180 is fine with it on 250 uh, 5 inch quad, absolutely fine with it on, no problem whatsoever. I put it on the front of my 220 Stormer and I had no problems with it on there. And it's fine on the Dark Max. So you're going to have no problems with this. 
for weight wise and it's a much cheaper option than putting your GoPro sessions on the front and I, as I say, I prefer this to the Firefly so I'm going to get another couple of these and I'll have these on my quads now rather than the Firefly the file records every time, I have no issues with a card, you have to use, I'm using a decent card in here, I've got a U1 card but you can pick them up for about 6 or 7 pounds now for a 16 gig card so yes I highly recommend this and as, it, as I say, you know I'm going to see some footage of it with it flying and also with me holding it in my hand to see the video quality thanks very much for watching have a fantastic day and as always, get plenty of flying. Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.